What's going on guys? It's your guy Rome Legacy back again with another video. And yes, I got another fragrance review for you guys. And it's also another exclusive. Yes, the fragrance I'm talking about is called Mania. And it's from one of my favorite fragrance houses, Minty La Rosa. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for years, you know that Minty La Rosa is, it has always been niche of the niche when it comes to luxury niche fragrances. And the reason I say that is because you cannot find them in every boutique, in, in every uh, uh, department store. No, you have to really search and look for the fragrance houses that are, I guess, carrying this uh, fragrance brand. And not only that, I, I really adore the creator, Stefania. Stefania is a brilliant mind when it comes to concepts of fragrances. Uh, when I first got introduced to her years ago, um, I was drawn to the fact that she said she has dreams and when she has dreams these are how she you know creates her fragrances through some of the dreams she has so um that was intriguing to me that knows that you know she's having these moments in her mind when she sleep that her peace in, in her most peaceful moments that she's able to relax her mind and and listen to in my opinion god speaking to her and saying hey this is a great idea so when she, you know, you know, wakes up, she's able to come up with these these gorgeous perfumes. Now, this one in particular, I'm excited for because this is a fragrance that I consider um, the fragrance community needed in, in, in immensely. They really needed this type of fragrance. Um, and and let me show you what I mean by this. Now, here is the the presentation, guys. I love how her presentations are in her, her fragrances. This is one of the first presentations she's had with the, you know, kind of a freight box where it's almost like a storage container, but just made so elegantly. I also love even how the fragrance sits in the box. And if you read the concept on the website about the fragrance you'll see the idea of how once you open up the box you know the fragrance sits in there and it kind of blossoms and opens up and I know you guys I know y'all gonna look at this and be like yo what is going on with this fragrance what is that and rightfully so I understand and this is for new guys that don't know about Minty Rosa this 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 concept is right up her alley most of or i would say all of mentally rosa fragrances except two have a very unique style when it either comes to the cap or the bottle design and she did not shy away from making a, the presentation pop now this is a, what i read this is supposed to be representation of a lotus flower floating on a lily pad and if you ever look at a lot of Mitchell La Rosa fragrances they all are gorgeous in their own right some people love them some people like them some people just don't get it i'm one of the types that just love them from from the fragrances that i you know reviewed from lamette to omega to id and the few more of the fragrances from their houses that I reviewed or talked about or you know did a first impression but you can even see in the concept of these two gorgeous fragrances they have a unique style the top the cap and the bottle designs pretty much stay the same but they are known for their tops their caps and their you know unique abstract bottles enough about the bottle designs let's talk about the fragrance I got me a little bit of tea I want you guys to sit back relax get some popcorn it's about to go down. All 
All right, so Manya. Now I hope I'm not destroying that name. Stefania, if you are watching this video, forgive me if I, if I butchered the name. I'm gonna put it up here, of course, so you guys can see. Do me a favor, guys. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you get more notifications when I shoot these videos because I'm hooking you up with exclusives. This is what I do for you guys. Help me out and I'll help you out. Don't forget to share this with your friends also. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. So like I was saying, this fragrance was definitely needed in my opinion. And the reason I say that is because the concept behind this fragrance is based upon quietness. A quiet essence, shutting down most of your senses, but leaving the olfactory senses at its highest. If you can quiet down a room, quiet the noise, stay calm and enjoy something, in my opinion, those are the most precious moments you can have. And with this fragrance here, the concept behind this, and what I've read and what I've heard is that was the inspiration behind it, to have a beautiful, soft, representation of a perfume that if you take the time to just appreciate each and every nuance of the notes in this note pyramid and how each fragrance note kind of showcases and displays its uniqueness you'll appreciate every aspect every moment every every beautiful whiff of aroma from this fragrance and from the first sniff i have to tell you I was blown away. I'm not playing around, no joke. There's a conglomerate of notes in this fragrance that in my opinion, it could speak to a variety of different people. And I know that the bottle of this fragrance could be a little off-putting, especially for my core audience. You're gonna say a lotus flower and a lily pad, Rome? Are you, are you like losing it a little bit? This is definitely a feminine fragrance. And you would not be wrong saying that just from the presentation. But I would say, chill for a minute and listen to what I have to say. If you are secure enough in your manhood to say, I can look past the presentation and give the fragrance a chance, pretty sure you will, you will enjoy this fragrance. And I say that because the open, it has a wonderful ginger note that is soft, is spicy, but is refined. This, and I'm gonna say this probably three or four times throughout the video. This is a very quiet, but very confident fragrance. Quiet meaning that it's going to be a more intimate, close quarter kind of fragrance. It's not gonna project very far, but in that small bubble of maybe an arm length, anyone in that range is going to enjoy the fragrance just as much as you are. That ginger note in the opening with a, another spicy note, which is pepper, is giving off a soft spice with hints of sweetness. But when I smell this fragrance in the opening, that is not the only thing I got. And you guys know me by now. I'm gonna tell you what I smell. I got a buttery creaminess with that ginger and the opening of what I would consider maybe a black or a pink pepper. But it was, it was stunning, it was gorgeous. And I could see the feminine aspect creeping in. I could see that. But the creaminess, the, the, the sweet nuance, and this kind of soft woody tone definitely grabbed me and said, yes, this is keeping this right up my alley. But I'm the type of person, I like loud fragrances. I like fragrances that project. I like fragrances that I can wear and smell all day long. The one thing that this does is it does wear pretty much all day long. I give this easy nine hours and a good six, six and a half hours of longevity and performance. Now, after that six hour mark, then 
yes it's it's definitely going to stay in between the half of an arm lift and you're going to smell it throughout the day off and on but the opening if the opening is not going to get you is the fragrance is not going to get you but i i'm 99 percent sure men and women smelling this in the opening with those spices and that creaminess will be drawn to this and i guarantee you you will not automatically say oh that reminds me of something else that is one of my pet peeves when it comes to new fragrances don't make something and it immediately reminds me of another fragrance well i'm gonna buy that if that fragrance already exists but i digress let's get into what else brings this fragrance to another level and what i said we needed this in the fragrance game as we get down to the middle of the fragrance you're going to get a nice sweet i wouldn't say warm but i would say a sweet almost slightly gourmand um tonka bean but let me not say gourmand because i don't want people to start thinking this is a gourmand fragrance no it has touches and hints of sweetness but this has also this kind of sandalwood in the mid now there's no sandalwood note in the fragrance from what i see i don't see that but in the concept throughout what she was talking about definitely hints to the perfumer wanting to create a fragrance that had these whispers of yes creaminess woodiness and interpreting what sandalwood could smell like in between a lotus flower and a lily pad now once again that whisper is very subtle very quiet and very close and intimate that creamy woody tone mixed with this subtle sweet tonka bean creates a kind of it's refined and it's elegant let's say you wear it and your spouse wears it to smell completely different on either of you and then you both will get the nuances i think if a man wore this fragrance that tonka bean note would definitely come off a little bit more i think if the female wore this i think that that um, creaminess or that interpretation of sandalwood would come off a little bit more and both would complement each other right but there's also a resinous vibe in this fragrance that i think the ginger kind of clashes with but in a good way they kind of come off spicy and resinous at the same time and that's benzoin so we have now introduced benzoin with tonka bean and soft spices now you will probably say rome that does not smell like a soft fragrance it doesn't it doesn't sound like it but it is very very tamed but it's elegant it is one of the most elegant fragrances i would say and i i'll be hard pressed you guys i'm gonna i wouldn't usually do this but i'm gonna drop my gq my second rendition of my gq fragrance video on there and this might be on there even with the lily pad even with the lotus flower i was when i opened this i immediately said i'm gonna give this to my wife i know this is gonna be super feminine no that spice buttery creaminess with the sweet nuance of that tonka bean blew me away and it's not going to stop there if you thinking about something of a romantic setting if you thinking about something of a quiet setting when you're probably just maybe wanting to just be you and your your, your spouse or you just by yourself and you just want to be in your most calm quiet relaxed kind of vibe this is one of those fragrances i think would work well i think it would be perfect for you you being in a stressful environment or you just had a stress day and you wanted something to calm you down i think this is that i think if you're nervous and you're going out or maybe a date with someone that you've been waiting to you know get with hang out with this is a fragrance that will give you that calmness and also be impressive to him or her I think that this in the concept of the beautiful bottle design in my opinion is something to just admire and sit on your shelf but when it comes to fragrances and i said earlier we needed this in the fragrance game 
There is no fragrance that I've come across in the last maybe two or three years that has completely surprised me from the smell to the presentation and also gave a fragrance that I think is soft enough for a man to wear but unique enough for a woman to wear and it not be like, oh, this is definitely a female fragrance or I don't know why a man would wear that. No, the only reason someone would trip or kind of turn their nose up to it is because most men, and this is just me speaking, most men are not going to buy a fragrance with a lily pad and a lotus flower sitting on the top. I'm gonna say it again, you'll be missing out if you don't smell the fragrance and give it a chance. I don't think I mentioned that the uniqueness of this fragrance uh, contributes to a ginger that is from Madagascar. Now, this is the unique part about the fragrance. That ginger note, as soft as it is and how unique it is, it lasts until pretty much until you get to the dry down. And it still gives little, little kind of whiffs of it throughout the fragrance in the dry down. But what takes over the dry down, in my opinion, is this musk this musk a little bit more of a i would say white musk there's a vetiver note in here but i don't get vetiver i do get a kind of green nuance but it doesn't really capture me and say let's pay attention to that no there is a green kind of vibe in here but it isn't something that i look at as something that's going to say wow that's definitely something that people are gonna be drawn to. No. The vetiver, some people might. I just don't, I don't get it, I don't smell it. What I do smell is musk and tonka bean in the dry down. I do smell some type of uh, thick resinous vibe in the dry down. And I think that thick resinous vibe is a alabanum. And I would say the combination of alabanum Benzoin, tonka bean is what you're gonna to get towards the dry down. And it's going to have a nice romantic waltz with that musk. Now, once again, guys, I can't stress this enough. Don't judge this book by its cover because you're going to definitely be missing out if you don't check. Oh my goodness, this fragrance. I don't wanna not mention this. It's almost haunting in a way. It is because there's a cloud throughout the entire fragrance that's so subtle that if you don't give yourself time to enjoy every aspect of this fragrance, you'll miss it. There's a powderiness that adds to that sweetness. There's a beautiful powderiness that adds to the sweetness. And once again, you're gonna be like, Rome, you're, you're, you're talking very feminine. No, trust me, trust your boy when I tell you. It is elegant, it is divine, and it is something that will attract the opposite sex. If you try this on, and I'm gonna say it again, I said it to you guys before, Women love powdery scents on men. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't going to be a powdery fragrance throughout the entire thing. It's just kind of circling the fragrance. It's just over it and you, you, you smell it periodically throughout the fragrance here and there. And you're like, that's a little nice little powdery kind of vibe I'm getting. And it's a little sweet, that's, that's nice, I like that. But definitely something this is something that's going to cause conversations. Love this fragrance. Absolutely adore this fragrance and I'm glad I got it in my collection. I said before this fragrance is perfect for the fall. I did it in my, my fall fragrance list. This fragrance is going to be beautiful for the beginning of the spring. Absolutely. And I think if you are confident enough to wear this fragrance as a man, you're going to, it's going to be a gem in your collection. Ladies, there's no, it's, there's no question that you're gonna love this fragrance in my opinion. Go check it out. Trust me, you'll thank me later. And I wanna say something, and this might have been maybe a little bit of my insecurity coming out. 
when I first got introduced to this fragrance. The bottle is gorgeous. The bottle design is beautiful. The lily pad is actually hand painted. Each and every lily pad from every single fragrance is hand painted. So the uniqueness of this is none of the lily pads will have the same pattern. They're all going to be unique and different. As an artist, that's something I appreciate. So I hope I didn't kind of throw you guys off by saying, oh, you're not going to like it because of the bottle design. If you are a collector, if you're someone like me, have an appreciation for artistic expression, yeah, you understand what I mean. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the review. I hope you guys get an opportunity to check this fragrance out because it's a, a, a fantastic new concept on something that is subtle, something that's soft, something that is intimate, but also a wonderful smelling perfume. All right. I got to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me once again to speak to my fragrance family. All glory goes to you. I know that this video will reach a lot of people and they will enjoy, you know, checking out this new perfume. And I appreciate you for everything you do, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, guys, I'm going to leave you with uh, a, a scripture, uh, a word from the Bible that I've been focusing on and trying to put in, in practice um, and let me, let me get myself together to, to, to say this properly. And I pray that God speaks through me and this reaches someone and touches their heart. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. That's from Ephesians 6.11. Now, this is as simple as I can put it in what I got from this. If we are not prepared by knowing the word or understanding what God wants us to do and has commanded us to do, to walk in the way of Christ and to walk in righteousness, then we won't be able to protect ourselves from the schemes, the lies, the deceit, the deception of Satan. Those things that look bad, he will turn them to look good. And it says that in the Bible too. We have to be prepared. We have to understand what is good in God's eyes and what is something he would consider to be a sin or not righteous. So prepare yourself, armor yourself, read the word, study the word, talk to people that are in a, a good Christian church and walk the way that Christ wants them to walk. And that will help you prepare yourself by putting the armor on being able to deflect any evil or any deception or the deceit that the devil might throw your way. Because if you're not prepared for battle, if you're not prepared for war, how will you be able to survive or succeed in that battle if you're not prepared? You won't, you will lose. So once again, I hope this resonated with you guys. It's resonated with me. I'm still working on myself. I'm still reading. I'm still studying, trying to get better at doing this because it's not an easy journey and I wanted to be honest and transparent with you guys some days I'll be like man I don't know I don't know how this is it's working I don't know but I, I have faith that God has a plan I have faith that God is working all things out in his glory and all things will work out for me because I know that he said he will never abandon me he will always be there for me so I know that this is true for you guys and I hope you give your life to God and you Cherish the moments that he has and put on the full armor of God so you can be protected. All right. I love you guys. And like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace.
These are the thoughts behind my Estrée de Parfum. These are the vibrations that carry on into the world.